What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Anas. I'm a final year medical student studying in London. Uh, and that's a quick intro if you haven't watched these videos before. And obviously if you haven't, then that's a bit of peak. Today we are hopefully going to tackle an important topic. And I, uh, and I think it's quite timely as well because there's loads of you are going to be starting A-levels the next few days, year 12, year 13, etc. Uh, and a couple, I think a couple months ago, uh, I've made, I made a few videos. So I made a video about my mistakes in A-levels and also uh, I teamed up with some of the younger medical students at my uni who also did really well in the A-levels with the new spec. And honestly, I think we presented it in a way which I don't think anyone's done on YouTube before, but it was a long video and also people had exams four weeks after that, so it wasn't enough time to implement it. But now there is time, so there is no excuse that there is no time. Time, 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 yeah. But there is plenty of time now. So what I've decided to do is take all, all the content from that video and summarize it into a more concise format. So if you wanna watch the concise version, then here is this video. If you wanna watch the longer, kind of detailed, then there is that video. And yeah, hopefully they like supplement each other in that. Um, okay, so I've said that. Now, what else do I wanna say? The other thing I wanted to say is, go and hit up my Instagram, follow that. Man's active on the gram these days, and the app will be here. And yeah, that's behind the scenes of medical student life, videos, just general ban art and that. Uh, but let's move on to the heavy content of this video. The first point I'd like to make is, is, is almost like a prerequisite, right? Anything I'm about to present to you now, or what I'm about to say, or anything that has previously been presented in terms of A-levels or goal setting or whatever, is not gonna be helpful, it's futile. Yeah, I know big words. <laughs> it's gonna be futile unless, unless the why is clear, the motivation. The thing is that, is that no one is gonna tell you to stay focused in your lessons. No one's gonna force you to do that. No one's gonna force you to do some work at home if you need to do that. No one's gonna force you to stay at home when your friends are out on motives to, in order for you to kind of sit down and, and, and reach your goals. No one's gonna force you to do all of that. And as people who, uh, who want to achieve goals, a person needs to be able to motivate themselves, parent themselves, um, and you know, just you know, muster up enough discipline to do what needs to be done on days where they do not feel like doing what they need to do. Now moving on to the A-level aspect. So what we said in that video and what we came up with is that uh, learning for A-levels and revising for A-levels can be divided into two overall categories. Number one is the long-term stage, and that is to do with acquiring enough understanding uh, of the topics themselves. Uh, and you know, having enough understanding gives you, you know, that flexibility. So suppose you go into the exam and the questions come up which perhaps you haven't seen before, or different variations of questions in the past papers. It gives you enough flexibility and enough critical thinking to be able to overcome that and answer the questions and just come up with answers. I mean, understanding needs to be top notch. And then there is the intense stage. And the intense stage is to do with exam technique. And both of these two go hand in hand. So, uh, I mean, what, what, what kind of we discussed in that other video as well is what makes the difference between an A star and an A? What makes the difference between a C and a B? Uh, what makes the difference between a D and an A? Is that some people do fall short in one of these categories. Either they do not have the understanding uh, enough of that topic, or they don't have the exam technique. Both of these need to go hand to hand and they need enough effort needs to be put into both of those. <laughs> Now, what is the understand? How do you actually gain enough understanding into a topic? Well, number one, you attend the lessons. Yeah, duh. <laughs> but yeah, you attend the lessons. And the lessons is really where you get introduced to new topics and new concepts. This is where you're allowed to have no understanding of a topic and ask all the questions you want to ask. I mean, you're always allowed to ask questions, but this is, I mean, at this stage you're empty and, and you're supposed to fill up that water in that glass. This is where you can ask questions, this is where you can challenge your thinking, 
um, and discuss with your teachers. Uh, this is kind of the best opportunity for that. Uh, and what's important here is if someone is focused in lessons, then that will save time in the long run. Because if you're focused in lessons, it means that you, you have a better understanding of the topic, which means once you go home, you'll need to do less work on it. You can spend time doing other things which you also enjoy. And you can think of it almost like a puzzle piece. So suppose kind of the rest of the puzzle is your current understanding of a topic, which may, you, you might have got from GCSEs and then you get a puzzle piece and if you make sure it fits really well then you don't need to do any extra work but if it doesn't fit as well then you need to think about how you need to reorganize things and that takes a lot of time and after attending lessons you know to gain a better understanding you use supplementary resources number one is the book so if you have a biology book chemistry book then going through that book is kind of is the main supplementary resource and if you don't understand that you go to youtube and search up the content or the topic and uh, and, and and there's loads of videos that explain different topics on youtube it's an like it's an amazing place for like um, like trying to research or google or whatever and also learning about practicals that are involved in the science a levels and so on so we've said so far attend lessons then use supplementary resources and finally comes testing yourself because how are you going to know you actually understand something you need to test yourself you need there, there needs to be some kind of assessment and the way you can assess yourself especially with the new specification is to do topic specific questions so for example if i'm doing ocr biology then i can i can go online and i can find topic specific questions to for example respiratory topics that i did in in that biology lesson so if we went through those chapters about the respiratory system then i can go on on that website i think it's called save me save my exams.co.uk that's one of them you go on the website you find the topic that you went through and then you do the questions and where those questions come from is uh, old past papers where someone has gone into the past papers and taken all of the questions that pertain to a specific topic and collated them into kind of one chunk so respiratory is one thing cell cellular structure and whatever is one thing or one topic and then there is whatever topics is in a levels and they have divided it in that way so you can actually do specific topic questions that and that's the way you test yourself you assess yourself and then you go back to lessons you learn a new topic use supplementary resources test yourself <laughs> see that flow chart yeah moving on swiftly you've done this for kind of uh, say you've done this for a year or you've done it for the first six months of year 13 and it's time to start preparing for exams and this is the intense stage this is where you take your exam technique to pristine condition and the way you do that is pass papers honestly the questions repeat they're almost identical sometimes they kind of switch up the different elements in chemistry and the equations sometimes they switch up the numbers but the concepts are the same um, and the way you then build up your exam technique is doing loads of past papers and doing them over and over again the way you do that is you do a past paper or you do a few past papers uh, and then you need to identify areas of weakness Naturally, you'll make mistakes and naturally you'll identify topics which you're not as comfortable with. And it's important to identify that trend. And once you find a topic which you're not very comfortable with, you go back to the supplementary resources and the topic questions. So you go back to the book, read what's in the book, uh, read about the topic, gain a better understanding, test yourself using the topic questions. Then you go back to the past papers and see if you're improving and you just keep doing that boom 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 that's the flow chart uh, and essentially that's it i mean some 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 points that we also kind of mentioned in the other video was that you know use your teachers um, and use them to their full potential they're there being paid to teach you um, and often the vast majority of teachers are very happy to help um, and, and give you extra time if you want it you know if you show enthusiasm they'll show equal if not more enthusiasm back uh, so use your teachers and um, and yeah and use the lessons those were the key things and don't fall short in both of these areas the understanding needs is going to be the base and the exam technique is going to bring you up to those really high grades that's my video here that was a banger 
did our Mazza with this video. I hope you like it. If you like the video, then like the video. Share it with someone who you might think will find it useful. Subscribe to the channel. Check the Insta, because Ban's active, safe. Okay.